Hey interweb besties, I am so excited to explore the world of AI with you and how you can leverage it to make some money. There are two AI platforms that I have been using to provide support in my online business. One is Notion AI and the second is called Dolly. Now I am a huge fan of Notion in general. I use it for both my personal life and my business for planning my content here on YouTube and planning my digital products, etc., etc. So I've already been using Notion as a platform for quite some time and it is my go-to project management system. So it only made sense for me to lean into their AI software when they released it. So you should know that you can use Notion completely for free. I personally do have an upgraded plan just so I had some of their unlimited features, but you can totally start with their free plan. But with AI, it is an add-on service. You can use it for free for a while. So if you sign up for their free account, you will be able to test out their AI feature before having to upgrade. But when it is time to upgrade, it is $10 per month for free Notion users. But if you have a paid account like I do, it's only $8 a month if you pay annually. There are other options if you've looked into AI at all. You've heard of ChatGBT. That is currently free. I doubt it will be forever. So you can, of course, use that at first if you want to. But again, because I use Notion for everything else in my life, this just makes more sense. And I like it all being in one platform versus having to go to another external website. And then as far as the Dolly platform, this is actually owned by the same parent company as ChatGPT, and this is a text-to-image AI software. With this software, you can actually type in your prompt and it will generate an image, a graphic, a design, which is of course why it is so nice for digital products. With Dolly, when it comes to cost, you're actually paying for credits and you use these credits to make your searches. It costs $15 for 115 credits. So essentially, you're paying $15 for 115 searches. So it's all about being super detailed with each of your prompts or your searches so that way you get the most bang for your buck. There is another platform you can use for text to image and it's called Midjourney. I have used this before. It used to be free. It is no longer free. They have a monthly subscription service so you can try out whatever you want and do whatever you think is best for you but these are the two that I am using for my own business. So let's talk a little bit about how you can use AI to create digital products and run a digital product business. Also, if you hear some crunching in the background, my son is eating popcorn, so that's that. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna talk about art printables, but with the methods I'm gonna share with you, you can actually create endless amount of digital products. As always, I recommend going over to Etsy to start your research journey. If you search for Boho art printable bundle, you'll find a lot of results, but let's just click on this one here. Using my Everbee Chrome extension tool, and if you're unfamiliar with Everbee, I use this tool for all of my keyword and digital product research. It truly is a game changer and I will have it linked below. But right from this listing, you can click analyze listing and this sidebar will pop up showing that this one listing is making over $2,000. But let's go into the shop and look at some of their other listings too. Let's look at this bigger bundle at a higher cost. This bundle is making over 19,000 per month. So with these two listings, the shop is making over $20,000 per month, which is about $600 Per day. And what you have to understand with these type of digital products, there is a lot of upfront work. There's a lot of work on creating your product, listing your product, but once it's out there, it's pretty much passive. Obviously with any type of business, you have to handle your shop management and customer service and marketing. But this specific product, once it's created and it's listed, there's no more work. So when I say these people are making $600 per day, obviously there are some business expenses and then Etsy takes their little bit of a cut, but most of that is profit because they're not having to pay any upfront costs for the product. Like some of the more like print on demand type products with a print on demand product, you're still having to cover all of those business expenses, but then you're you're also having to cover the cost of the item, the shirt itself. But with digital products, there is no item cost. Once you've done the work, all you're having to cover is your business expenses as a whole. And something else I want you to keep in mind is that this is just two products. So this shop had a lot of other listings as well. So if any of those are making any kind of profit, then that number is just gonna keep going up. Okay, so now we have a product in mind, but how do you create this product using AI? So first let's talk about actually creating the digital art using the Dolly text to image platform, which I will have linked below for you. If you go on their platform, you will see a search bar at the top of the screen. Creating an account is free, but as mentioned, you do have to purchase search credits. In the search bar, you will place what they call a prompt. 
Make this as detailed as possible. Each search equals one credit, so make it worth it. Once you type in your prompt and select generate, you will be provided with four results. Then just pick the one that you like the most. If you like it just as is, you can download it right there. You like the result, but you wanna see other variations of this, select variations and you'll be provided four more results to look through. If you like a design, but just aren't a fan of one part of the design, they actually have an edit tool that allows you to select that one area and type a prompt of what you would prefer in that spot. Once you're satisfied, you can download your design. Now for this next step, I do recommend having Canva Pro. You can have a free Canva account, but you will be limited on some of the things that you can do. If you wanna try out Canva Pro, you can use the link in my description for the first 30 days for free, and then you can decide at that time if you wanna upgrade and continue paying for the Pro account. This will at least get you started and allow you to have some of the features that Canva Pro offers. So as I was saying, you will upload your images in Canva and download these as a PDF. If you want a full tutorial on how to do the Canva side of selling art printables or really any digital product, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do that for you. But once you've downloaded your product from Canva, you are ready to list it for sale on Etsy. But obviously it's not as simple as that. You can't just go list this digital product and then that's it and be done. There's a lot of other things that are involved of having an Etsy shop or really any shop on any platform. You need a shop description. You need a title for your listing, a description for your listing. You need tags and keywords. So now we're gonna use Notion AI to help us with with that side of things. Here is an open page in Notion. To use AI, you will simply hit the space bar and type in your prompt. There are tons of different options that Notion AI can help you with, but today we are gonna use the right option. I am going to ask Notion AI to write me a description for Etsy. And honestly, what they provided is not bad at all. And if there's something that you wanna change, like this area here about the file types, you can highlight that section and tell it what you would prefer. So here is what it says now. Welcome to our Etsy shop. We specialize in creating creating beautiful and unique bohemian inspired digital art printables. Our printables are perfect for adding a touch of boho chic to any room in your home, office, or studio. All of our digital art printables are available for instant download, which means you can start decorating your space right away. We offer high quality PDFs in a range of sizes to ensure the perfect fit for your needs. Our designs feature a mix of bold and intricate patterns, vibrant colors, and inspiring quotes that are sure to uplift and inspire you. Whether you're looking for a statement piece for your living room, a motivational print for your workspace, or a unique gift for a loved one, we have something for everyone. Thank you for visiting our shop and supporting our small business. We hope our boho digital art printables bring a touch of joy and creativity to your life. That was pretty good, right? I, I'm i pretty impressed with it. And obviously you can make changes to make sure that it makes sense for you. You can add your shop name, you can add other details or remove details that don't make sense to you. You can have it rewrite certain sections. So you can definitely personalize it, but I think that is a really great start. So now that we have a shop description, we can use Notion AI to generate a title for a specific listing. Just like before in your prompt, give Notion as much information as possible. I still recommend altering this title to make sure that the keyword that are noted in the title are actually performing well on Etsy, which again, you can use Everbee to do that type of research. And you could even do that research prior. And then when you do your Notion prompt, add those keywords in. So you can say, Notion, write me a title using this keyword, this keyword, and this keyword to describe this type of product. And that way it includes the keywords that you already researched in Etsy and know perform well. Now that you have a title and it's full of the right keywords, you can have Notion help you write your description. And the cool thing is now that you have a title, Notion has something to use to pull from for the description. So now you're really just instructing it to write a description for this product mentioned above. I won't read you this whole description, but it's well written and uses all of the keywords that were mentioned in the title, which is exactly what you would want. And beyond titles and descriptions, you can also have it generate some tags. With Etsy, you are given 13 tags that you can include in each of your listings, which just help with SEO, which is search engine optimization. You can ask Notion to generate 13 keywords or tags that you could use in your Etsy listing. Not all of these are gonna make sense and some might be past the character limit, but this at least gives you a starting point so that you could even do further keyword research on your own. You could even do a search in Notion saying, give me 20 keywords that describe the listing above and then you could use that list of keywords and do your research using Everbees. And that really just shows you the endless possibilities of how you can use AI in your online business. Now, nothing compares 
compares to a human putting in their effort and their personality and their time into writing something. But if you need just a little bit of support and even a starting point to being able to write something, AI can be your best friend. Don't forget to check out all of the tools and resources in the description of this video. And if you're interested in digital products, you might wanna check out this video next. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, interweb besties.